Hi, my name is Benedikt Mersch, and today I will present Kinematic ICP, our new approach to enhance LiDAR dormitory using the kinematic constraints of a wheeled mobile robot. Wheeled mobile robots often operate on flat surfaces, and here we show two examples. On the left, we have a Husky platform that we use in our lab to generate maps of our offices. And on the right, you see a warehouse robot that is operating autonomously and scanning the inventory of the warehouse. And both these platforms need to estimate how their position has changed over time. So the position and the orientation. And so in contrast to localization, where we localize in a pre-built given map, we now want to estimate the, the relative motion of the platform. And this task we call robot odometry, and we can use multiple sensors to do that. Today, we will focus on wheel encoders and lighters. So with wheel encoders, we, for example, measure the revolutions of a wheel and can then, using a motion model, integrate these to get the relative motion. And with LIDARs, we can get measurements of our surroundings, align these with the model that we built on the fly to then estimate um, how the robot has changed. So basically, find the pose that best explains the measurements. If we now look at those two different odometries, we can see some differences. So here we drove around with our Husky platform for 200 meters, and on the left we first show the corresponding wheel odometry. We actually know that start and end should be close, because this is how we recorded the data, and we can see that the wheel odometry already drifts after 200 meters. However, if we look at the LiDAR odometry using KISS ICP, we can see, especially after the overlay with the reference trajectory, that it's a lot more consistent. So start and end are more closer together and in general it's very close to the reference. However, if we now look more closely and zoom in at this particular point, for example, we can see that the wheel odometry is very smooth because we here use a motion model and the light odometry has jumps. So in this particular scene here, the jump is about one meter between two scans. The question is, is this, is this actually important to have a smooth odometry? And the answer is yes. So if we look at the ROS enhancement proposal 105, we can read that the pose of a mobile platform in the autumn frame, so the odometry, should always evolve in a smooth way without discrete jumps. And going back to our example with the light odometry, we can see those jumps. And in this case, the jump, if you compute a velocity from it, would actually correspond to a velocity of 10 meters per second, which is very unlikely for our platform. So the question is, can we now efficiently estimate an odometry that is locally consistent and smooth? And we do not want to do that by fusing different sources of odometry. We want to do it very efficiently and directly estimate odometry, odometry which is close to the reference, so consistent and also smooth. And the answer is yes, we now can that with our approach kinematic ICP. And this is the overall uh, framework how we do it. So you see the pass pose at t minus 1 and the actual movement of the platform in, as a dashed black line. Now what we first do is we take the wheel odometry as an initial, initial guess. So this brings us closer to the actual pose at t time t, but it's already a bit off because of wheel slippage effects or modeling errors. Next we take our LiDAR measurements and align these with a local map that we, so local, local point cloud map that we built, and compute a correction TICP, which is bringing us closer to the actual reference. The catch now is that in order to ensure the smoothness, this TICP should also result in a smooth motion. And we do that by using a kinematic model that is modeling the motion of the platform. And instead of estimating a full 6D pose, we now only optimize for the inputs, so to say, the controls of that kinematic model. So in this example, we use a differential drive model in which the robot can move forward and can rotate. So we only optimize for this forward motion and this rotation, which then gives us a correction TICP. If we now take the wheel odometry from before and use our LiDAR scans that we obtained in our kinematic motion model to correct this odometry using ICP, we get the final odometry that you see on the right. And this odometry is now first very close to the reference, as you can see uh, compared to the black dashed line, and it's also smooth if we zoom in at this critical point from before. And this is because both the initial guess of so the wheel odometry is smooth and also our correction follows a smooth motion model. If you want to know more, you can uh, check out this uh, QR code for the paper or also test our ROS2 implementation. Thank you.